And now to a Kelly File exclusive. A well-known Washington whistleblower has a scathing new report about the backgrounds of a bunch of new attorneys just hired to manage immigration litigation for the Obama administration. Jay Christian Adams is a former DOJ attorney and a PJ Media contributor for Chalmers Media. Chris, good to see you again. And so basically they've just hired a whole bunch of new immigration enforcement attorneys at the Department of Homeland Security. Why are you concerned? Well, because they turn to radical open borders organizations. Uh, they turn to groups funded by the Tides Foundation, uh, Mexican American Legal Defense Fund, Latino Justice. All of these demonstrated uh, organizations with hostility toward immigration law are now the source of dozens of new lawyers inside the Department of Homeland Security. This administration knows that personnel is policy, and if you don't want immigration laws enforced vigorously, go out and hire lawyers who don't like immigration laws. Can you be, can you be specific? Can you name names? And, and we do. The article names literally dozens of lawyers with their photographs that we obtain the biographical information for. Let's just talk about two. The first one is Jennifer Lee. Jennifer Lee came from an organization that was militantly open borders. And she, when she was there, they actually published a pamphlet to give to illegals that was entitled, What to Do in the Event of a Raid. And it gave advice to people who were here illegally how to behave if DHS comes a-calling. Of course, now Jennifer Lee is working at DHS. So this organization that was hostile to DHS is the source of new employees. There's also an, an attorney named Maura Wee. Maura Wee came from another open borders organization. She worked for the ACLU, Immigrant Right Project. And when she was there, she wrote scathing condemnations of DHS because they were collecting fingerprint information of people they captured at the border. And she said that you shouldn't be collecting this information. The reason the information, of course, is important is because people just cycle through. They cross, they get caught, they send back. And, and opposing fingerprint information is a radical policy that really affects our open borders. Well, were these attorneys that they just hired necessary? I mean, did they have vacancies that needed to be filled? Well, that's an interesting part of the story, and that is that they didn't need to hire this many people. They originally were going to hire a few, and the, and the chief lawyer at the DHS component, a man by the name of Steve Legomsky, or wanted to hire dozens and dozens and dozens and got special approval. Now, why that's important is because this unit will have the power to effectively suspend immigration laws, that if Congress doesn't pass amnesty or comprehensive reform, these new lawyers will have the power to just let everybody in the United States that asks, in, in, in whether it's asylum or other types of people who overstayed their visa, they can just short circuit any deportations. Wow, so it's a sort of a potential way of achieving a, a form of sort of soft amnesty without the actual deal. What, how long are these people in office for? Do they go when the president goes? No, these are permanent career civil service jobs. These are government attorneys on the GS scale making between $75,000 and $155,000 a year. The next administration, even if it's Republican, is stuck with them and they can't do anything about it and frankly they probably wouldn't have the uh, skill set or guts to do anything anyhow because they're borrowing in. This administration knows that personnel is policy and they're changing the personnel to change the policy. That's fascinating. We reached out uh, to the DHS for a comment. They came back and said that their hiring standards adhere to long-standing stringent protocols to ensure an impartial process. And they went on to say that neither political views nor other inappropriate factors are considered in this process. Jay Christian Adams, good to see you, sir. You too.